They shifted basically from uh, spying on groups of people, uh, terrorist groups or uh, drug, drug smuggling groups or governments or militaries. They shifted from that to spying at individuals. Uh, I mean, first of all, everyone in the US and then everyone on the planet. Well, <clears throat> I mean, that was fundamentally a violation of uh, human rights everywhere. So, I mean, and, and also a violation of the Constitution of the United States. So it was basically treason against the founding principles of our country. And I couldn't be a participant or associated with it, so I had to get out. Uh, no, absolutely not. I mean, we had done that under a program called Thin Thread, and that was documented by the Department of Defense as Inspector General in their investigation of the NSA. The, the point was that Thin Thread did a targeted, focused approach on known terrorists and those that fall around, based, uh, fall into a zone of suspicion around them based on behavioral properties. In other words, you had to have some kind of uh, behavioral issue that would, that would say you're likely to be associated with this terrorist attack or this dope smuggling operation, in which case uh, <clears throat> we would have pulled you in in the zone of suspicion. But, but that we intended to show as probable cause and show that any court in the land, not necessarily a FISA court, but any court, and be able to prove that uh, that's, that's uh, justification to look at someone. And, and it was a targeted approach. It was a much reduced problem. I mean, it would take in, you know, 0.0001% of what they're doing today. You wouldn't have to build all these facilities or all, but it would make a focused attack where they could get a rich environment of information to be able to begin to recognize threats in advance and actually move to stop them so that people don't get killed. Are they effective today with bulk collection? No. Every time you have an attack, like in, in Germany here, or in France, or in Belgium, or in the US, anywhere, or in the UK, or in Spain, or anywhere, th then when you come back and review the bidding, you find out, oh yeah, we all knew these people. We knew who they were, they were bad guys, we, were, we had them on our list, you know, and all that. Well, if that was true, why aren't you watching them and why didn't you stop them, you know? Why didn't you stop people from getting killed? And the way to do that is every time there's a failure, a terrorist attack occurs and they didn't stop it, cut their budget 10%. That was my recommendation. Uh, you could make it 20% if you want, and that way it'll hurt a lot faster. Then they'll start saying, gee, maybe we should start thinking and doing smart things now and just the, instead of this bulk acquisition. You know, that would force the issue.